also, I decided this week to uh, demonstrate my my painting skills that I have uh, acquired over the past year, and um, I use a very simple strategy, basically the Bob Ross strategy, except I apply it to acrylic paints. He applied it to oils. So what I'm going to be doing is something similar to this painting right here. I actually had a friend who asked me to do something similar something similar to this, except with uh, basically all blue hues. So I'm going to be doing something similar to that. And um, if you watch the Bob Ross videos, which I highly recommend you do, they're very, very, very simple strategies. So the first paint, sorry. Yep. They, they harden in, so yeah. So the first paint I am going to use is this thalo blue right here, very dark blue. And for my paintings, you know, Bob Ross used rather large paint brushes. This is a two inch. And this is the last of the thalo blue that I have. Actually, what I want to do is actually make it a little bit more of a purple. So I'm going to use cadmium red. And mix that, a little bit of that in there. And I'll use cat, I'll use this with some more um, blues. It's you get get a primarily purple. It's still pretty blue dominant. Um, I just use this workbench right here. I don't I have an easel. I I, um, I rent this. So. It's gonna be the darkest upper layer. I'm going to now go progressively lighter as we go down. And this is one of the other things. Bob Ross basically taught that, you know, you take a technique and you can apply it to anything. That's what I... Um, that's what that's what I do. And that's it. So um, what I'll do is on occasion I'll um, I'll use uh, paint cleaner, but I'm primarily just using water to just get it off. Use a paint cleaner to get uh, do a more extensive cleaning. I used 
used to do like the Bob Ross style, like spray it all over the place, but uh, my landlady got upset, so I just don't um, know. Uh, this right here, where I just to a waste basket. By that time it's all watery, so I just clean off the rest of it up, up here. Okay, so now we gotta figure out what all to do. And um, I've actually got a diff few different hues. So I got I got this uh, I got this lighter color which is the mini blue I just got this from my sister uh, ultramarine blue cobalt blue and then uh, viridian which is gonna sub in for the turquoise because my friend asked to have to do some turquoise so on the progression scale I'm going this way. And I got I got a bunch of this from uh, my sister, so that's how I'm. Uh... So I prefer a different type of blah blah blah. I prefer a different way of doing stuff. Or different types of uh, paints. Start up here, and um, you know Bob Ross did the whole wet on wet. So we start here on the, the wet area, and we go progressively down. It's just a blend. It starts to make a seamless. You start to see that it starts to make this seamless uh, blend, and then we're gonna go progressively down, and we're gonna keep uh, overlaying on the various layers, and it'll just blend out from there. It'll just seamlessly go from layer to layer. And if you think about it, that's how the sky kind of works. I've kind of come up with a name for the shades of blue is what I would name this painting. It's okay to where I don't have to do another one of those cleanings. That one caused a little bit more of a mess than I expected. But anyways, so I'm going to pre keep progressing, and also that way I could just blend it around the brush. You know, Bob Ross did that same thing.
beautiful amount. That out. And I'll just um, just create a little bit of uh, in between right there. And uh, looks pretty good. Like I said, just keep overlaying. Do the wet on wet, which does work on a which works on acrylic if you actually do it. You have to do it very quickly because acrylic dries really quickly. Cobalt blue next. Oh, I didn't realize that this was a I'm using a brand new thing there. Because my sister never uh, used it. That's fine with us because we get a whole thing and we might be able to use this to finish it off and then that way we can use the viridian for another painting another day. I'm just blending seamlessly. Just use it to finish it off. Um, um, cause a little bit more of some maybe blending up here like I said it actually burns blends really well in reality this is a little bit more of an abstract painting Bob Ross did some more realistic stuff I do some more realistic stuff too I'll uh, show you as soon as I'm done with this I think we're about done Yeah, you can see kind of up here, if, uh, if I do some stuff, it gets a little bit drier. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's, the, uh, that's my Shades of Blue painting. this a little bit later but then um, uh, go ahead and put my name in there using cadmium Cadmium, pure cadmium red.
So that's that. That shades of blue. So um, some of the other paintings. Um, I am actually by the time I post this, I'm actually will have created a calendar of all my works. And um, so this again is blended sky. And um, some of the the better ones of these, the ones I'll show you, I'll st I'll start creating prints. Uh, this is what I call summer fireworks, and you can see why. Um, I, sorry. This, so, uh, and you can uh, tell why. I've been told they look like palm trees. Let's see if I can actually put this right. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's blended sky. And like I said, I'm just showing you some of the better, uh, some of my better works. Okay, this I call the Ocean by the Bluff, and it's it's very nice. It's very nice. I'm very proud of this one. So, then this is basically a copy of a Bob Ross painting, and I called this one the Northern Lights, as you could tell why. It's a it's a Aurora Borealis. Then this one, you're going to see uh, Fuji in a bunch of my works because I at one point uh, lived in Japan. This is Mount Fuji and the cherry blossoms. Can you can see there's Mount Fuji right here, and there's a lot of very nice cherry blossoms. I'm very proud of this one. And then this is volcanic eruption. This is an example of one of paintings where it started out as one thing and it turned out as another. And uh, like I said. I uh, like this one, and then this one is my first painting. Uh, I call this one Mount Fuji behind the Tori Gate. This is the Tori Gate, this is Mount Fuji. So, yeah. So, yeah, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, I do do a blog, I do that every so often. This is a. Um, I'm experimenting. I'm, ex I'm experimenting, seeing what all will catch. So let me know if you want to see more painting videos, if you want to see more vlogs, if you want to see anything else, because I have a, I do have a variety on my channel. So like I said, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, my Twitter's at Matthew Salzer, so I am Matthew Salzer. Also of note, I am do have a second. I uh, run MMA Freak, which is my se which is a second channel. So um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe there. Um, I am Matt Salzer, and I'll see you next time.